Heat is the movement of thermal energy. All matter, solids, liquids, and gases are made up of molecules. Molecules are so small you can't even see them. The molecules move around and vibrate. If the molecules are moving around quickly, the object has more thermal energy. When the molecules move slowly, the object has less thermal energy. When thermal energy moves or is transferred from one object to another, it is called heat. Heat always moves from a hot object to a cold object. There are three different ways that heat can move. Radiation, conduction, and convection. Have you ever been to the beach in the summer and burned your feet on hot sand? This is an example of radiation. Radiation happens when heat is transferred through the air from something hot, like the sun, to something cold, like the sand. You also feel radiation when you stand next to a fire. You're not touching the fire, but you can feel its heat radiating through the air and warming your body. Conduction happens when a hot object is touching a cold object. The heat moves from the hot object to the cold object. For example, if you place a metal pot on top of a hot stove burner, the pot will get hot. When the food you are cooking touches the hot pot, the food gets hot too. If you place a metal spoon into a mug of hot cocoa for a few minutes and then touch the spoon, it will be hot. That is because the heat from the cocoa has transferred or moved into the spoon. Heat in liquids and gases also moves through convection. If you put a pot of water on the stove, the water at the bottom of the pot will get hot first. When that water gets hot, its molecules spread out. This makes the water less dense. It rises to the top of the pot and the cold water sinks to the bottom. This creates a current called a convection current. The water in the pot moves around in a circle as it is heated. Convection currents are what heat the air in our homes. Have you ever watched the lava rise and fall in a lava lamp? If so, then you have seen a convection current in action. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. For lesson materials that go along with the video, be sure to check the link in the video description. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.